Awesome. Thank you guys all for jumping on here with us tonight. We have Katie Anderson, who I'm going to introduce in a moment, um, to recap her experience at CES. Um, I know a lot of people are going to end up catching this on the recording, um, so we just but we did want to get it recorded because this is this is some pretty good information. And as I was saying prior to the recording, it's it's the meeting after the meetings and the sidebar conversations at these events and and the little pockets of stuff that you don't expect where you really get some nuggets and some good wisdom about what is happening in our company. And she was filling me in, uh, yeah, a little bit coming out of the airport this afternoon, and like we got to share this with our team. So super excited to have her on here. And in case I know we have. Have lots of different pockets of teams on here with us but in case you don't know who Katie is she was our first diamond and this woman came to us with no network marketing experience she's never been in the direct sales industry in fact she was one that would say I know I don't know things." <laughs> so she she's as a she's a former cop with a heart of gold she went to school with Sam my husband actually and she had happened to see you know how we got her Facebook Live. <laughs> she saw it, and so it started a conversation, and it took a few conversations, but after some life experiences happened, she said, I'm in, and just been super excited to work with her, and a ball of energy, and I'm so thankful I have her because she keeps me going. <laughs> so over to you, Katie. Awesome. Thank you, sweetheart, so much. Again, thank you, Leah, for bringing this opportunity into my world and allowing me to now have all of you in my life because this has been an incredible nine month ride, just almost hitting, coming on nine months. So this is exciting. All right, I, we are here because I had to share with you guys, I took notes upon notes upon notes upon notes and people that we met and everything that happened at CES, I have it like color coordinated color coordinated because <laughs> yes, I'm crazy like that. Okay, so sorry, I have a team member trying to get in. One moment. Oh, sorry, you guys. Let's see. What is the number here? Hmm. All right. I'm going to. Sorry. That's okay. While you're doing that, out all over for anybody in the Grand Forks, like within an hour, however far you want to drive um, from me in East Grand Forks, or we're doing an event on Monday night here in Grand Forks. Um, to we're really going to kind of have a focus of come here about this new technology, and then the second part will be, oh, how can you earn money from it too? So wanted to make sure we've been trying to ping people on Facebook, but it's so hard to remember. I need everybody in like different messages for based on your geographical location. So if you haven't got word about that and you are in that vicinity Monday night, and you can message me for more details on that. Awesome. Thank you. All right, guys, pens and papers. Um, again, this is just real. It's raw. It's what we've heard, what we've seen from the last 48 hours of our whirlwind trip to CES. For those of you that do not know what CES is, I know that we've had a couple of teammates that literally just came on today. So it is the Consumer Electronics Show. It is the largest electronics show in the entire world. And when I'm talking the world, you guys, I must, you're standing in line and you're listening to 30 different languages because people truly came from all over the world for this convention. 60% of the booths that are there are from China. And 40% of those 60% are from the city where our helos are made. So a lot of the people that came by or came around our booth had heard of, they keep calling us the Helos, the Helos, the Helos company, <laughs> you know? And so there was a lot of people that had maybe heard of us, just didn't know what it was or didn't know what we do or how it worked. And so it was really interesting to see who in the world, in the demographics, had actually heard of us or even knew that we even existed. To be honest, most people that came by our booth had no clue. No clue what the helo was, what it does, where it was going. Um, so how it worked was, for any of you that saw the front entrance or saw pictures of it, the front entrance is where people were able to come in. And then kind of back behind the scenes were like big white couches and stuff that were roped off. And so all of the distributors that wanted to stay there and be there could sit behind the roped off area and just sit and conversate with corporate and all that kind of stuff. And then as people would come up, there was girls that were designated to our booth. 
And what these girls did was they were briefed on kind of what the business is and what it is. Trust me, I, yes, asked them if they wanted to join the business. <laughs> but a lot of them were like teachers because what happens in Vegas is during the convention, the schools shut down and like the roads are shut down. Like it's every hotel is fully booked. It's truly madness. So these girls, they, it, they were teachers. And so when, now for the week, they get paid to work the booths and be there. And the systems, the city kind of just shuts down. So it worked out pretty good for these ladies that get to be there. They get to see all this cool electronics. But what they do is they would stand at the entrance of it and they would ask people if they're interested in learning more or if they've ever heard of World or they've ever heard of the Kilo or anything like that. And then what they do is they scan their badges. So as people walk, as you go from booth to booth to booth, you get your badge scanned every time you go into a booth and that's how they know um, who's interested in their products, right? It's, it, the technology is incredible. And then you have apps on your phones telling you how to get to where and how to find this. And it's, it's truly incredible. The entire convention has a couple hundred thousand people last year that attended. It'll be interesting to see how many come this year. The fact that we got a booth this year, this year, with what we unveiled is a true testament. So let me put it into perspective. My husband's company who's been trying to get into the CES convention, he's an aerospace engineer. They've been trying for over a decade. They have not been able to get in with how great their technology has been for years. He got the call in December saying that one of the companies he consults with for Bell Helicopter, they got accepted because they are building this air taxi that's going to fly people from destination to destination in 2020. They got in this year because they are launching a product that's coming in 2020. We got in because we're launching a product that is coming available to us starting pre-sale on PAX on Tuesday. So you have to understand and grasp around your mindset of how incredible, not only that we got to be there, but the fact is, is that we're launching a product that within the next few months, we have full access to. Most companies that go are showing the world what's going to come in the next three to five years. Does that make sense? Can I get a thumbs up? That makes sense for people like what this convention is about? Okay. So we kind of booth hop between the two of them. But what these girls would do is if someone was interested, they would come and they would bring them back to us, distrib distributors, and then we would have a full-blown conversation on showing them how it works, what it does, bringing them over to the machines and showing them the blood alcohol and the sugar monitors and that kinds of stuff. Every single person that walked up to this booth, every single person that came to our booth that I spoke with would say, what do you do? Why are you here? I would show them the device. I would walk them through what it already does. And they'd be like, it does blood pressure. Really? They're like, come on. Because every one of them would say, why are you different than all the rest? You guys, there was tons and tons of booths of wearable technology. I took pictures, I took cards, I took pamphlets, and I tried to figure out who was doing anything like us. And none of them were doing blood pressure. So all of them first were shocked by the blood pressure. Then, then I would tell them what we just launched on the first day with the sugar monitors and being able to trend your sugars. You guys, these people were like, you are, they literally looked like at me like I was crazy. Like you guys really, you guys really have non-invasive sugar monitoring. And I said, yes, in fact, we have a demo over here. Would you like to demo it? And they're like, yes. And they would come over and the gentleman that was working it and running it, he would walk them through and they were like, it's done, but you, you did it. Like that was the reaction across the board from people all over the world. People are out there and glucose was everywhere. There, was, there is so many monitors out there that were at this convention for glucose. Every single one of them was because they were inserting something into their body or because they were pricking their fingers. Every single device. So I'll walk you through, okay. <laughs> I hope you're ready. Sorry, I just had to kind of, <laughs> I know I could go forever. All right, so that is what the energy was for our booth. People were extremely excited. And then as they would go back to their booths or as they would tell their friends, do you know what they just launched? Then they just kept coming and coming. I guys, I didn't even want to fly home today because I told my husband the next two days is probably going to be bigger and busier and better than it was the first two because now people are hearing. And if you see some of the people that are there and you see the pictures that are rolling around, the celebrities are coming to check out our booth. I mean, the word is getting out and it's so cool. I mean, it's, it really is. The Shark Tank guys were there today. Um, all kinds of athletes, which helps because we were next to the big, huge stage where um, they were doing like, all the 
um, athletic stuff for athletes and um, all the wearable tech for them. So we were set up next to their huge, gigantic booth. So anytime athletes would come in, they'd walk over and be like, oh, what is that? And then not to mention, they all had bodyguards and they all had police escorts. So you know me as a former officer, I'm like, hey, I'm like, come here, I got to show you something. And then I would tell them about it. And they're like, what? That's why you're here? And everyone, you guys, no one had heard of us. Nobody knew what it was that we were doing and nobody knew that what we were launching was as big as it was. So I had in my mind um, an idea of what maybe was coming for CES and I had prepared myself because at, in Las Vegas, they had told us, you know, coming CES, it's going to be huge. We got a booth. And so I had this in my mind, but I didn't realize the reactions we were going to get from the people all over the world. That was my biggest like aha moment. So I did a little experiment with myself <laughs> uh, throughout the evening on our first night there. I got in the cab and I'd say, hey, you're so nice. Where are you from? He said, Ethiopia. I said, hey, do you mind if I ask you a question? And notice I always ask for permission first. We are a permission first based business. We will always ask people if we can see our two minute video, if they want more information on the company, we are not going to spam people and we're not going to freak people out, right? So I asked him, do you mind if I ask you a question? He says, yes. I said, do you know anyone that has diabetes? And I know that we're not supposed to get into it. I just needed to see what the reaction would be. And he goes, I have diabetes. I'm like, sir, we need to talk. This is why I am here at the CES convention the, this week. He's like, why? So I show him my wearable, I explain to him and I tell him what we just launched that day. And he said, I don't have to prick my finger. And I said, it will tell you, it'll give you your ranges. So if you're gonna do it on my device, it will give you your lows, it'll give you your mediums, and it'll give you your highs if you go too low or too high. And so I showed him what we already have with our blood pressure, heart rate, breath rate, and how that works. And he goes, wow, that is amazing. Can I have more information? So before I even got out of the cab, he had already seen the two and seven minute videos. And so like, that is how powerful just a real quick statement can be. So then I did that with the guy opening the door for us. My husband's like, how many times am I going to have to do this question tonight? And he said, yes, I know people who have diabetes. I'm like, Hey, can I, can I have two minutes of your time? And he said, yes. So I got his phone number. Then I went to the guy at the front desk. I'm like, can I ask you a question real quick? He's like, yes. I'm like, do you have to know anyone who has diabetes? And he's like, yeah, why? And he looked at me like, oh, here we go. Another CES person. And so I said, well, the reason why we're here. And he's like, I'm not interested. I, I, I'm really not. I said, okay, no problem. And then I stopped and we went up to our room. But <laughs> I'm telling you, like, there's people out there that need this. And there's people out there that are dying for this solution. So I'll tell you in terms for my father. I sat down with my dad, who's a diabetic. And I said, dad, when this launches, what will this mean for you? Okay. So my father is insulin dependent. He's got to check it. Um, he really does it probably eight times a day minimum. And so he takes out his strips. He takes out his insulin. He takes out his bottles. He takes out his package. He takes out his, all of his information. He lays it all out. And we walked through if this monitor comes out and says what it's going to do. And I mind you guys, I did this over Christmas. So we didn't know that it had launched and that it worked. We had no idea. Right. And so he takes it out and he says, if this works and it's non-invasive, he said, everyone that is my type is going to want it. He said, because it's not going to stop you from pricking your finger, you guys. But what he did tell me is that it will allow you to not have to do it so often. So if you get and you are wearing this and you see this and you start to understand your trends, then you know what? It's going to give you an idea of, oh, I really do need to check my sugars. Or, you know, maybe he, you know, maybe prick it right away in the morning, but then the next couple that he normally would do between there and lunch, he'll be able to just put it on his finger, hit his device and be able to have really a peace of mind as to where his levels are at. And he goes, Katie, if I could go from eight pricks a day to two or three pricks a day, he's like, that would be a game changer. And I said, so how much would you pay for a device like that? And he's like, well, the Dexcom is three grand. And he's like, so there's people out there paying Muko bucks. And he goes, it all kind of depends on what idea and what it kind of gives you. And so I call him from the CES and I said, Papa, we launched. It works. I'm in the booth right now. I'm going to go live with my team and tell mom to get on my page and watch it. And he called me that night and he goes, girl, he's like, you're going to be millionaires. <laughs> he said, this is crazy. And I said, I know, right? 
So Tuesday, our packages launch for the Hilo LX Pro and they'll come out with all new bundles. There's going to be seven bundles, you guys. There's going to be seven different bundles because again, we're not getting rid of the Hilo LX. We are absolutely keeping that as our flagship product. And there are people out there that need just that and what it does. And it will do the monitoring, but it'll give you three levels. It'll give you your too low, it'll give you if you're within your range, and it'll give you if you're too high. The Hilo LX Pro will give you nine different stages. So that will be more of a, if they're between like 80 and 100, you'll be at this. You know, 100 to 120, you'll be at this. Or 100 to 110, you'll be at this. So it was kind of how Moss explained it to us, is that that was nine different levels will be more on point with um, maybe like what most people would be looking for in a number. So when people come to you and they say, oh, well, it's not going to give me a number. It's going to give you nine different ranges that you fall between. And it's just going to give you your sugar trends. You're just trending how you are going to be doing throughout the day. Just that and knowing that your loved ones can be your guardian and they can see that throughout the day. That, you guys, is a huge deal. All right. So uh, behind the scenes. Okay. So our first night, we went to dinner and we were sitting at dinner. And it wasn't even what Moss was saying. It wasn't even what Tanya was saying. And not to say I wasn't engaged. I love them both. And they have poured into us and this team more than I could ever thought, think possible. But what I want to share with you guys is the conversation I had with the gentleman sitting next to me. This gentleman has been with Intel for 30 years. Ramasio and him have been super close friends for many, many years. So he was invited to this dinner, right? And we're sitting there. And I said, okay, so are you with World? And he said, yep, I'm with World. And I said, okay, where are you at? And he said, I'm at the most, most, important, um, I'm at the most important level. And I said, oh, you're a team developer. And he said, yep. And I said, I know my levels. And um, so we were talking and stuff. And I said, oh, well, you know, when did you come in? And he goes, I came in right away with Moss. And I was like, what? And he goes, I've been waiting. And I said, well, okay. I was like, well, I've been running. So <laughs> I was like, okay. And he goes, no, he goes, I've been waiting. And he said, Ramasio asked me to come into this company because I am, I'm a technology. That's my thing that this is what I do. And what he does is he builds innovative products for Intel. So he brings a project to the table. Intel will decide if they want to run with it or not. Right? So many years ago, he had brought in um, the idea to Intel of wearable devices with an open API platform. And they didn't take it and they didn't run with it. They couldn't see the vision in it. So when Ramasio came to him and he said, I need you on my team because I don't know anything about technology and I need to know if someone comes to me and someone says, basically, how does this work? What do your sensors look like? What does this mean? He goes, I'm gonna need to send them to you because I don't know anything about this. I don't even wear a wearable, okay? So he joins this team. He runs with them for his first 30 days to PM. He does his due diligence. He brings people in. He hits team developer. And that is where he has stayed because he met with Fabio. Ramasio brought him to Fabio and he met with Fabio. And when he asked Fabio, he said, I just need to know one thing. Are you going to have an open API? And Fabio said, well, yes, that is in our plans for, you know, in the next year or so. And he said, if you will promise me that you will have an open API, I'm in. And Fabio goes, I promise you have an open API. And he goes, then I'm in. And he said, what is coming for your company will be bigger than what you just launched yesterday in your sugar monitor. And I said, what? And he goes, everyone, you, <laughs> you guys, I'm not kidding you. I'm sitting there like, what? How can it be bigger than the sugar monitor? And he goes, it's bigger than the sugar monitor. And he said, you've got to realize what this is going to do for you, your organization, your teams, and people who are looking for the residual income in this business. He said, it's going to change lives. And he said, and the apps and the developers that are able to come in to your company and are able to have a piece of this pie, they're all coming to world. And I was like, okay. And he goes, this is what I've been waiting for. He said, I will be in LA. I will see you there. And he said, and you better believe, he said, we will be running and we will be running hard. And Moss looked at him and Moss said, well, we're running next week. Are you coming along for the ride or what? And he goes, now that I know it's coming, he's, yes, I am. So just know you guys that whatever they're launching in LA is going to be bigger and better for you as the business owner and building your business than you ever thought imaginable. 
because this gentleman who's been in it for 30 years tried and his company said no has now joined our team and our organization because he sees how big this is going to be this is the stuff that are the meetings after the meetings this is the stuff that you don't get when you go conventions or you're sitting down with your teams whatever the case may be and i just take it all in and then i go home and i just write or I do voice messages. I'm like, okay, I talked to so-and-so, this is what they said. So you guys, this was affirmation after affirmation after affirmation the last 48 hours of my life. So it started there at dinner. That was, obviously it exploded. My phone was crazy all day with the sugar launch and then also showing um, the alcohol that's coming for 2019. That is in the Hilo Pro, okay? So the, the chip, I did go live on it. I had him do a demonstration on it. It's on my page if you want to see exactly how that works and how they will be partnering with you name it. I even asked him at the end if other wearables devices are going to be able to have it, and he said no, it is exclusive to the Hilo. No other wearable device will be able to have the alcohol monitoring um, chips in their device, okay? So that's just another thing, but that will come in 2019 with the Hilo Pro. So right now we're focusing on the Hilo LX and the Hilo LX Plus and the differences between the two. All right. Next, um, my next affirmation. So there is a double diamond in our organization by the name of Chris Denton. She brought on a gentleman by the name of Justin Heigl. Justin, what he does for a living is he works for a company where um, wearable devices, wearable tech companies come to his company and he works with them to get them FDA approved. That is what he does for a living. So when Chris came to him and said, hey, I really want you to take a look at this and see what you think, he thought she was asking him to be, to truly um, do a startup business and walk this wearable through a startup business and getting it FDA approved. He didn't know it was network marketing, never done network marketing before, never anything. So when she explained to him, no, like you, you could be a distributor and you can make money off these. He was like, are you kidding me? He's like, oh, wow, okay. So he signed on with her. And while we were at yesterday, while we were at CES, he went up to Fabio and she introduced him and told Fabio what he does for a living. Fabio, you guys, he got so excited. He got so excited the fact that Justin is in our organization and he's seeing what is coming from what he already does in his profession that <laughs> Fabio was just like, I mean, you have to hear the story from Tanya and Chris because he was so excited. And he said, okay, he said, so we can take this Kilo Pro and we can take it to the next level. Like he just, he just was looking for that, like that affirmation, right? And Justin goes, oh, I can get you there. He's like, we can get, absolutely. He's like, I have connections, I can get you there. So what happened was, there's a corporation out there called the Hika Corporation. That is where our Hika app comes from. The Hika Corporation is an already um, medical device company. They are already FDA approved. But what happened is we purchased this Hika Corporation. So now the president of Hika is working with our company to get our Hilo Pro to go on to, to be FDA approved. So now what they did today was they linked Justin with this Dean, the president, and linked those two together today at CES so that they could bring all their work horsepower in and get um, to move this project even faster. Because now you have a gentleman who's already done it. He's had 10 years in network marketing as well as he has already um, proven that he can form a company and get them FDA approved through the Hika Corporation. But now he's got a guy that does it for a living and is also gonna bring in his resources. So they connected these two, but listening to Justin, you guys, and listening to how he talks about why um, he even got into our BioZen and why that clinical, like our clinical level grade one clinical, it doesn't maybe seem like much, except especially for people that maybe are Googling or meet people that are whatever he said, but to have that certification seal on there he said is a huge deal because it means that they kind of, they attempted to do some type of testing on it as well as they're allowing you to come out and physically say that this is going to help you, help you physically in some way. And he said, so even if it's just a level one or um, I'll get into a Dexcom thing in a minute, um, just that in and of itself, it gives people the peace of mind that they took the time to care enough about their product to get it certified. And that's what they are, that's what World has been working really, really, really hard on. So they were very, very proud to announce that this week because they have been working really hard on that. 
Um, so we talked, okay, Justin got into him. Um, um, let's see. The Moss, I want to rehash on what Moss is doing just in case you guys missed this. He has come out and he has said, if you, between now and the 22nd, if you personally enroll 10 family packs or greater, so now with the, there's even bigger packs coming out. There's a family pack. There is um, a pack, so that'll be the same price, four kilos for the 1349. There's also coming out with a pack of four bands. It'll be two kilo LXs, two kilo LX pluses, and that'll be like $1,700. Then they're also going to have an all-in pack that is going to have four Hilo Helix pluses as well as 38 BioZen for like 3,500. I mean, there's, there's so many different packs coming out, but just know if you get a family pack or greater and you bring in 10 or more, what Moss will do for you is he'll give you a $300 credit to give you for a voucher to be able to fly to LA to attend the convention at the end of January, as well as 30 days personal mentorship. I just sat in this man's hotel room last night for five hours. I literally could have sat there for 15 more and listened to him and the way he works this business. It is incredible. If you can have 30 hours of time with this gentleman and have him work with you on just your organization and how to personally mentor you on getting to where you want to be, hands down, uh, we, we just have to run for it. We just, we have to try. We have to give this a shot. Not to mention that once you get to LA, you will get a private meeting with Chad and Atita. You guys, they, are, they just made over $5 million in the last 12 months. They know what they're doing and they're very good at what they do. If you can get in and spend that time with them and hear that from them, that is a huge deal. So I just wanted to reiterate um, that promotion that is going on for just Moss's organization, just for us. 10 packs between now and the 22nd. The, 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 you guys, the packs, the bundles for the bands, they are not in your back office right now. I'm sure you guys covered this on your Zooms. I'm just rehashing, I'm sorry. But they are not available until Tuesday. Someone comes in and wants something other than a single band or other than a bios and pack, hang on to it. Take the paper information, hang on to it on Tuesday. Because on Tuesday we run. And for those of you that have not been here during a run week, hang tight because it gets exciting. The entire organization runs as a whole. The reason why we do this is because if you're just starting today or you're a Masio and you're at the top and you're all running together, the momentum that it generates and it creates, it literally brings you to the next level because it's that sense of urgency and wanting to people in. Well, when these packs drop on Tuesday, <sighs> who knows how many Hilo LX pluses they're going to allow us to pre-order, right? And there's going to be a mad dash for these. And I'll tell you this, what Ormacio said to us, he said, you guys think of it like this. He said, there's going to be 2 million devices sold in 2018, right? Think 2 million. He said for the next hundred thousand people that joined this organization, they could set themselves up for generational wealth for their lives. If they get in, you guys are already in. You are already in the 2017 pre-launch crew. And I'll tell you what he said about the three years and the differences between the three years. Okay. So you're already in, but what he said is what he sees and how big this is going to be is the next 100,000 people that come in starting this Tuesday are going to have a huge advantage because all of those 2 million devices that are coming in are coming in underneath them. And that's not, that's just including 2018. That's not counting for the next few years. So when you're talking to people and you're explaining to them, hey, I know you're looking at it like, well, you started nine months ago. You have a hand up. We're just getting started. And I'm not kidding when I say that. Okay, next. Uh, let's see. Chris Denton attended the wearable tech seminar this morning. It's something that she um, had to personally put in for and attend from nine to one this morning. She did an incredible live on her page when she got out of there. She's at the airport today. You guys take the five minutes, go and listen to it. But in a gist, what she said was that the speakers that got up there and she talks about these like pretty, very high prominent people that are in the wearable tech industry. Um, she said that they got up there. They said the hardest part right now about wearable tech is the connectivity issues. They're not just talking about world. They're talking about wearable tech as a whole from the head to the toe, to the wristbands, to the, you name it. The connectivity issues are not there. It's, it's crap across the board. And so this CEO of this company that was up there and he was talking about it, he said, 
It's not going to change until we truly get into 5G. And he said, and when that hits and our devices are connected and spot on, he said, it will truly revolutionize wearable tech. But there's some companies that aren't taking the leap to get in now because they're waiting for that 5G technology. Our company sees the vision in this is like, we're getting in now and we're going to get our name out there. And when that does drop, it's going to be lights out because we're already going to have all these distributors and people already working. That was another cool thing that she talked about was people were starting to find out that world has brought this in as a network marketing, the way that, um, to be able to sell. And it's fascinating to see their minds turn when you tell them that you're in network marketing and that's how we've sold a million devices this previous year. They're like, huh? Wow, because every single booth I went to, I would talk to them, I would ask them what their device does, what does it do, how does it work for kids, yada, yada, whatever. And then I would say, well, do you get paid on everyone that's sold in the company? And they're like, no. And I was like, oh, well, I do. And they're like, oh, what? But well, what do you do? What is yours? And I would show them. Every single one of them was like, on every device? I said, for life. Like, it's it just, your organization, it just all runs. We all work together as a team. They were shocked. They're like, no, I'm just here to like show you a product and hope that you purchase from our company. And they're just being paid, you know, 10, 12 bucks an hour to stand there. Crazy, right? And you guys, it's, it was just affirmation after aff affirmation after affirmation. Okay, so let's see. Um, I talked to you about, so how like my husband, his product was there and they were there launching this year for what's coming for 2020. We were there for what's coming in the next couple, few months, right? Um, okay, so right down the way from us was United Healthcare Booth. I tried to go live like three times to show you guys because I was going to interview and I was going to walk you guys through from their point of view and what the ladies had to say. And I was going to do it without any prompting. I was just going to like go on live and I kept getting kicked off because once I got into the center of where they were at, they didn't have very good Wi-Fi compared to where our booth was on the outskirts. And so I went in, I spoke, I sat down with two nurses, two of these ladies from the United Healthcare. And I said, I need to know how is wearable technology, because their entire booth, you guys, their entire, bo entire booth was all, all it said was healthcare and technology, healthcare and technology, healthcare and technology. And I was Katie, we can't see or hear you. She can have spotty internet on occasion. Hang on. I could run across the street. Minnesota and for you, Minnesota. I know, right? <laughs> Although she's there, where she's at, she's five hours north or south, what, east of us. They're always like 10 or 15 degrees warmer. Yeah. We lost you. <laughs> this happened this afternoon too. The connection dropped and she kept talking for five minutes. So let's hope <laughs> she's <laughs> <laughs> Hi, am I back? Yes. <laughs> that was so weird. Okay, sorry about that. All right. Um, okay, so for those of you that do not know, did you hear when I was talking about the Dexcom? Is that where you left off with me? You, you had just started to say that you were going to interview her live and it didn't work. You kept talking just like before. <laughs> oh, for sure. Okay. Okay. So I was telling her about the device. That's great. I, I must have been talking for a while, not knowing you guys. <laughs> okay. So, um, so I asked her, um, oh, she brought me over to th these two gentlemen. She's like, you need to talk to these two gentlemen. So she brought me over to them and they were with the Dexcom. And so for those of you that do not know what the Dexcom is, it is for um, type one diabetes for people. And it's a very, very, very expensive device that what they do is they do like an injectable into the child or the adult, whoever needs it every seven days. And that injectable will then sync to the app on the phone and it will tell them how they're doing every week, but they have to reinsert that every single week. And so he was showing me how the Dexcom works and walking me through that. And then I was telling him about ours and I brought over, I had our brochures and stuff and was telling him, do I have it? So um, I brought like, this is the, um, with all of our information on that. And then we had this one at the booth for the Hilo extends. 
and it talks about all the different apps and plans and when it's coming and what does what for what device I can take pictures and post them to the feeds if you guys want and so I was showing him this and he's like what and he goes and it works and I said yeah you should come over to our booth and you should go inside the machine and you know do it real quick and the guy will walk you through it and he goes I would love to so I brought the Dexcom guy over back to our booth and put him through the non-invasive machine and he sat there and he was like huh and he's like, okay. And he goes, is this FDA approved? And we said, no, it's not FDA approved. And he goes, is it going to be? And we said, well, that's the plan. And he's like, I might be out of a job. <laughs> I said, and we were like joking and laughing back and forth and stuff. And I said, well, there's a need for, you know, obviously for both. And I said, for you, for the type one diabetics, that's a huge deal that they need to have and constantly, you know, do that modern stuff. And he goes, it was, I have no doubt. He's like, you guys are going to figure this out. And he's like, and that, and then he, he's like this, he's like, it'll be gone. He's like, it'll be here. And I said, I think so too. So even someone who's in the industry and works with these diabetics all the time, even these people were floored and blown away by what we have. So you guys, it was just so cool. It was so reaffirming that it was just, it was, it was pretty awesome. All right. So I, um, one of the <clears throat> corporate uh, slipped and made a comment about how awesome the Hilo Fit 2 app is. <laughs> I don't know if I was supposed to know that. I don't know if it's, I honestly, I thought maybe they launched it and I just missed it that day. And then I asked Leah, I'm like, how's the Hilo Fit 2 app? And she's like, I don't even know what you're talking about. I was like, oh, okay. I said, well, the corporate are talking about it. So whatever it is, it's coming and it's supposedly amazing. Um, so I don't know if that's again in LA. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just telling you guys what I've heard and what's been said. Um, Okay, so let's see. I want to give a shout out to Kurt Hodney. I think he's on here. Um, for those of you that have not, <clears throat> excuse me, have not posted about what has been launched and what has come, go on his page and check out his simple, super simple little post. He didn't have like, he didn't have any hype. He didn't have any like Katie going live. She's crazy at CES. He truly just did like one little blurb about what we have. If you'd like more information, please let me know. And people are responding and they're saying, yes, I would like more information. What, do you, what is this? How does this work? Yes, I'd like more information. It's as simple as just planting a seed on your social media. Use that through your platforms. You don't have to be obnoxious. You don't have to be crazy. You don't have to be wild. Just know there's people out there looking for a device that we have like this. Um, so kudos to Kurt. Great job. I'm sure millions of you went and I'm sorry. I, I don't, I didn't have time to even serve Facebook at all. Um, another thing that when we were sitting with Moss, he was very, um, he, we were with him um, last evening and he reinforced the fact that us diamonds. So for you diamonds that are on here, our job is to present, walk them through their Q and A's and close up front. Everyone else, your job is to bring us your contacts, bring us your people, drive them to the webinars, let us do the Q and A's and help you close your contacts and your people and earn while you learn, learn while you earn both. <laughs> Either way. And cause he said, um, it's, it's not as hard as everyone is making it. And the anxiety of feeling like you have to truly learn this business is overwhelming. It's exhausting. We are all working full-time businesses. We all have jobs. So um, Wanda, should we show them the two and seven minute videos? Okay. Very good question. I, I do like that they've seen the two or the seven or both from my people, from my perspective, because then they've already seen if they like the device or if they are already looking for a business opportunity. And then when you come in and you bring them to me or Leah or Suzanne or whoever, there's a lot of team developers on here, you guys, that are very well, very well qualified to also do this. So please know that if you have an upline that is very good at working with people, please um, bring to them as well. Just know that if this is coming from the number now 16 income earner in the entire world, that we should probably follow the process that he does with his people because let us help you. Let us help you. The only time that I do not care if they have not seen the two or seven is when you are bringing them to your launch calls. 
And if you guys want to relaunch on this run week or right before run week hits, please let your diamonds know. We are absolutely, we will do that for you. All you have to do is invite. So I think Melvin, he's on your somewhere. If you can wave, Melvin's on your somewhere. Um, he just launched this week and I asked him, I said, well, how did you get everyone? Did you show people videos? Did you, he goes, no, I, he goes, I told them, I want you on my team. And this is an opportunity of a lifetime. I just need you on this call. Give me 30 minutes of your time. And he just, he, cause he picked his top 10 people is what he did. He, became, he picked his top 10 and he said, I want you on my, I want you on my team and I want you to hear this opportunity. And that's how he got all these people. So when I came in, I didn't know, but I just walked them through the, I just walked them through an actual launch. And so, and then when they had questions, I stayed on and I answered the question and answer. Don't make it harder on yourselves than it needs to be. Let us help you. Okay. So if Moss is telling me this, I'm now sharing with you. And that's what he did with us, with us diamonds when we were with them last night. All right, he talked about the three years. 2017 was our launch year. 2017 was our, here we go, we're bringing you to the US and Canada. That was what our 2017 was. In fact, it was our year of launching a brand new product that we had no idea what it was gonna do, how it was gonna do, what systems it was gonna work with, what systems it wasn't gonna work with. We had no idea, we had no customer service. We had no one to call. We had to call Italy at like three in the morning, our time, just to like try and get help. You guys, we have been through a lot. You have pioneered this company. And for all of you that are on this right now, congratulations, because you have made it through the launch of World into the US and Canada. It has not been easy, but I promise you it's going to be worth it. Because now what he says 2018 is, 2018 is going to be our largest growth year. Because now people are starting to hear about us. Other network marketers are coming to our companies. Other, you guys, we're getting a lot of like high, high, paid white collar professionals that are coming because they're looking for residual income and they're looking for a way to have that for generations to come. So this is going to be our largest growth year. We have already broken every record known to network marketing in 2017, and it's only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger in 2018. And what he said is coming for 2019 is where we will have our biggest money year because that's when we are going to be getting into the medical, the FDA, the alcohol censoring, the you name it, right? So he just put it into perspective for us that we went through a year of launching, a year of pioneering, a year of getting through a lot of hard times, and now we're into the year of growth. And the people that get in right now in 2018, they are set. It is a big deal and you need to tell your friends and family that and the people that you care about the most. I am going to go back to my friends and family and let them know, I know you were not interested in the beginning. I know nine months ago, I know you've been watching my journey, but this is going to be our largest growth year. And if you want a real estate position in a global technology e-commerce company that does everything from home and sells drop ship to any location in the entire world, now is the time. That's what I'm going to say to my people, right? And if they want in, absolutely great. And if they don't, that's okay. It's just, it's, it's, that's okay, right? But I don't want to be, you guys, I don't want to be a president millionaire someday and go back and have my friends say, why didn't you tell me about this? I do not want to be that person. I will go through all thousands of people in my phone and on my Facebook because I don't ever want someone that has ever been close to me sometime in my life come back and say, why didn't you tell me about this? Or I wasn't on Facebook, so I didn't even know this is what you were doing. Give them the opportunity to give you the no, okay? Uh, let's see. Next, he reiterated. So I got to watch, you guys, I got to watch Ramasio launch a big, big dog in multi-level marketing last night. This guy has 45,000 people on his team right now in his current company, and he is coming to world. He has 45,000 people in his company, in his organization. He made $300,000 total, total in 2017. Moss has 43,000 people in his organization and made 2.3 million. There is the difference between multi-level marketing, binary compensation plan, and how lucrative our compensation plan is versus other companies out there. If you're talking to someone that is in another multi-level marketing company and they are like, I need a really great reason why I need to come to you because it's technology and it scares some people, right? 
you need to tell them because we pay tenfold to what your company will ever give to you. And you can have, you can bring them to us. We will walk them through how that works. Can you guys still hear me? Thumbs up. Am I okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, um, I watched him launch this, um, really, really big guy who brought in and what he did was no different than what I just did with our, with our newest guy. I said, I want to give me 10 people. Who do you want to be your top 10 people in your organization? We call them your generals. We call them your lieutenants. And, um, we essentially give your top 10 people the first right of refusal into your world and into your organization. We launch them. Whoever joins out of those top 10, we then turn around and we do it the, and the next launch with you bringing in the next 30, 40 people off your list and their top 10 people, their generals, their lieutenants of who they want. And then we redo that again. And it, that's how you grow your organization. And we help you do that. We don't want you to be the experts in this. We want you to let us help you do that. And watching Moss do it with someone who's making a lot of money in multi of marketing and seeing his people and how excited they were was mind blowing. It was awesome. So we watched this go down. And then next, a lady comes in who lives in Vegas and wanted to meet with Hermasio and find out all about it. He allowed us to stay and listen and watch. Long story short, um, she didn't have a penny to her name. She has nothing, went through a bad divorce, lost it all, and she's looking for a way out. She, she's like, I need help and I need to make money now, which a lot of us are in this situation, right? A lot of us are like, we, we, need, some, we need a way to, to feed our babies, right? So she sat down and his language, you guys, it really didn't change. It really didn't. He treated her no different than he treated the person who was making hundreds of thousands a year in network marketing. He came to her and he said, he said the exact same thing he would do for her as he would do for him. It was awesome. But he also didn't give her an out. He didn't say, okay, well, I, you, I just, all you can come in is with a band. He told her, he said, we come in with family packs or higher. That is how we build our business and our organization. And then he walked her through how you're going to make your money back. So what Moss does is now that the largest bundle is going to be like $3,500. It's going to have four LX pluses. It's going to have 38 BioZen. And what he's really, really hoping and pushing for you guys, we, I didn't sit down with Fabio. They sat down with Fabio. They asked Fabio that on Tuesday when they launch, if Fabio would allow them to have an extra 30 bios in on that pack. If Fabio allows this, you guys, listen to this. If Fabio grants us this, someone comes in with $3,500. You take just your bios in, just your bios in, you turn around, you sell one bios in at $50 a piece, and you shell them out at $50 a piece, just in the bios in, you will make your money back. That's not including what you could get for your other bands. That is incredible. You know how powerful it is to be able to start a business and be able to turn around and make it back. So what the company is doing for us, um, by the end of CES, they're going to have a one minute video for us as distributors of just the BioZen being the clinical level grade one, what it does and kind of show exactly what it does and how it protects us. It's going to be a one minute video that we are going to be able to send to our family and friends and say, Hey, check out our device. And when they check it out, they're like, oh my gosh, that's, are you kidding me? You're like, how many do you want? For every three that you sell, that's $150 back in your pocket and you just treat it as a customer. That's like if someone comes in with a band, right? 150 bucks in your pocket. So this is how he was telling us, you need to bring BioZen in to your life and make it easier on yourself by making your money back for your bundles that you're purchasing. Okay? Katie, that one minute video you're talking about, that's gonna be a BioZen video, right? Just BioZen video. It is going to be strictly a BioZen video. So it's going to be a big deal because right now people are watching and sifting through the Hilo LX and the BioZen and the Infolio and it's all exciting, but we're not focusing on how incredible this product is. And if you can turn around and sell them, I will tell you right now, for those of you that have BioZen, go to your schools, go to your PTOs, go to your principals. And when this one minute video drops, walk in and say, hey, I want you to take a look at this and see if this is something that you're interested in because I really think it would be a big deal to have on your iPads for all the kids that are on them all day long. See what they say. I guarantee you, your chiropractors, your holistic people, your 
you guys, they're going to be, they're, they're going to be, uh, it, it, will, it will be an easy way to sell. I'm just put it this way. The way he markets it, it um, now that it's, a, it's an approved um, product, it's a big deal. And then just know that um, as long as the adhesive and that sticker stays, that product is good. So you don't have to replace it, okay? Um, all right, so this is what Moss said to the Millionaires Club on the Zoom and to the little old lady that was in the room with us. This is what he said, and this is how he asked them. He said, with what we just launched in our health trackers, or in our um, sugar, tra tr sugar trend trackers, he said, did you know there's 415 million people that are diagnosed in the world with diabetes? Did you know that? And she's like, oh my gosh, she's like I didn't know that. And he goes, not to mention the probably 400 million others that are pre-diabetic that really haven't been diagnosed yet but need to take care of themselves. And he goes, did you know that? Do you know how many diabetics there are in the entire world? And she's like, I didn't know that. And he goes, did you know that we are able to sell in the entire world, 195 countries. And she's like, yeah, I heard you, you know, I, I heard that in your video. And he goes, okay, so you know that when this drops next Tuesday, you know if we sell to 1%, 1% of the, this community, of these 415 million people, if we sell to 1% of them, we will make $1.6 billion this year on just that device alone. That's not including our foils. That's not including our biozen. That's not including our Hilo LX. It is, it is truly just for the sugar monitors. If we get half of a percentage of the 415 million, we will make $800 million this year. And he goes, and 50% of that is paid to the field. What company will you say in 2018 will ever do that for anyone? And she goes, I, got, I need a piece of the pie. I have got to get in. And it was the same response from the people on the Zoom who are making a lot of money in network marketing. He never changed what it was about. He never changed who he was talking to. He literally laid out the facts and the numbers, no matter who he was talking to. Because guess what, you guys? The device, the facts, and the numbers are good enough for you to build your teams and to get out there and help people. And that's what we're all in this for, right? We truly want to mentally, emotionally, physically, and financially help others. That is why we're here. And so he just walked them through. And when he said that, they all were like, yep, I'm in. Or I want a piece of the pie would be most of their comment. I want a piece of that pie. Or I want, I want some of that money. Or I'll take part of that 800 million. I mean, and you think, so you put it into terms of that small of a percentage of how big our company could be with that small of a percentage. What happens if we do hit the 3% that we're going for in our market share, right? What happens if we stay at the 5.3% we're at? You guys, it's, the, it's truly limitless. It's the, <laughs> you have no idea what's coming. I'm not kidding. Like the way this man explains it is mind blowing. All right. So another conversation that we had is people are watching. He, he, he sat down with us, him and Tanya sat down. They said, people are watching. They're watching for two reasons. One, they are watching you because they're fascinated. And because they're kind of hoping they would have gotten in with you at the very beginning, or they're trying to decide if this is something that's right for them. That's why they are watching. Or two, they're watching because they want to see you fail. They want to know that you are going to fail and that this isn't going to work and that they made the right decision to not get in when you invited them in the first place. So I will tell you this. One, you have to get on social media and every once in a while you have to promote your company because if people don't see that you are a part of the company still, they're going to think that you left, they're going to think that you failed and they're going to think you gave up. When they're on all reality, they have no idea how big it's going to truly be. So I'm not telling you to make your entire Facebook page or Instagram or LinkedIn or anything like that, but maybe just every once in a while you got to put in something exciting or something that's new and innovative because you want people to know, hey, I'm a part of this and this is a big deal. And if you need this advice, please reach out to me or whatever the case may be, however you want to do it. Like I said, there's people out there have done some really, really great posts, but you can't let people think that they won by not joining you. Does that make sense? I got a message today from a guy who I used to be his patrol sergeant on midnight shift and he sent me a message. And so I got a text and he said, 
hey, what's up with WRMT no longer existing on, um, for, um, for being a publicly traded company? And I was like, excuse me? And he's like, yeah, I looked up WRMT and it doesn't even exist. And he's like, huh? And I was like, you little, mm. I was like, well, we changed. <laughs> and I sent him, I'm like, we're now World Technology Corporation. And I said, so check us out. So then he came back and he goes, dang, he goes, you are still alive. And then he said, he goes, I see, he goes, I see where your stock is at. Looks like now is a good time to get in. And I said, that's exactly what my husband just said to me the other day. And I said, and you're right. And, um, and he came back and he goes, I honestly, Kate, was going to give you crap that they had, their company had sold from out from underneath you and that you guys were no longer to be distributors. That's his text message to me. And I said, oh, I said, well, I said, you can either continue to watch what's about to un unravel or you can jump on the train instead of being at the end of the caboose. I was like, you decide. <laughs> and that's where our conversation ended because there's people out there that are looking for you to fail. So just know we're getting it from all levels and the higher up you get, the worse it's going to get because people are going to be even more upset that you are succeeding and that they didn't join it. So don't give up. Don't let like, you know, what has, what we've gone through because it's about to get good. And all Ramasio kept saying is January 27th, January 27th, January 27th. I was like, just tell us. He's like, I can't, I cannot. But I'm telling you, on January 27th, he said, game over. I was like, Aww. On that note, I want to put in a reminder for LA. And you will hear us talk about LA because it's that important until the day we are on that plane. <laughs> There's tons of really bird tickets left. If you're not planning on going, we need to talk. We need to talk. There, you need to find a way and we can brainstorm. You have to get to that event. I say you just enroll 10 packs and you let him get you there. <laughs> and the money you'll make off of 10 packs will more than cover your cost for LA. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. Speaking of, if you bring in 20 people with an all-in pack, you just made $10,000. Just thought I'd throw that out. He, he, I literally was writing frantically as he was talking, and he said that, and I was like, oh, my gosh. So put that into perspective. And to go one step farther, which I know this is a stretch for most people's minds, then you help us launch each of, help us, help, let us help you launch each of those 10 people. You do that and they do the same and you become a president millionaire. Mm -hmm. Just takes 10 to get 10 with that all in pack. Mm -hmm. Right? Cool, huh? All right. And then last but not least, because I know I've been talking for a really long time. You guys, I honestly, I could go on and on. I... It was crazy. Um, before I left yesterday, I went um, up to Fabio and I, I, I thanked him. I just said, I know coming to the US is not easy. I know that we are not easy people to deal with. I know that we do not show our gratitude. I need you to know that we appreciate you and you making the decision to bring this to the network marketing model and allowing it to come to the US because you have changed a lot of lives. And it's because of that, your decision that you made to do that for us. And I'm not kidding you guys. He had like tears in his eyes. And he's like, <laughs> and he goes, I needed that. I needed to, I needed to hear that. And he goes, um, he said, this is what he said to me. He said, this has been my dream to see so many people so happy and all come together to change so many lives. That's what he said to me. I literally walked out and like voice recorded it. So I wouldn't forget. And but that's what he said. He said, this has been my dream to impact the world and impact the lives of people. And I knew with this model, he, it could be done. And, um, and I said, you did it. I said, non-invasive sugar trending. I'm like, are you kidding? I'm like, you, you, it's, you did it. And he said, I, it's, I can't even believe it. And he said, you know how many people have come up to me? And they said, Fabio, look at how happy your people are here. And how many people said that to our corporate staff in the last two days that we were there? They said, look at all your people that are here working your booth and how happy they are. I had a police officer that was working. He was guarding Shaquille O'Neal all day yesterday. And he walked over and Ryan and I were standing there and he said, I have got to ask, what do you guys do? You're having so much fun. And so I explained the device, what we do. It's our first time here, um, the CES. And he goes, 
oh, that's pretty awesome. And he goes, okay, we should talk. And I said, yeah, I was in law enforcement for 10 years. And he's like, really? So then we got connected on that level. And I said, do you have a card? Took his card, took his number, sent him the two minute video. And um, he said, you guys are just so happy. You're just having so much fun. And, and that, and so for Fabio to get people telling him that he was like, this makes me so happy that you guys are enjoying this ride with us. It was, it was true. It's, I'm just, and I'll end there because, um, that was, it was a whirlwind of 48 hours. And again, I could talk to you all night, <laughs> but I do want to open it up for any questions or answers or maybe something I may have forgot or that you maybe saw on a live. <laughs> Leah, do you have anything to add? I should go with you first, sweetheart. Oh, you're fine. I've been at, just as different thoughts came as you were talking, I've been typing it in the chat box. So hopefully everybody- Oh, good. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. I knew that it wasn't- oh, No, all good. And I've been answering any questions that came Thank you. That, so. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> is Suzanne, Suzanne, is there anything you want to add, sweetheart? For those of you that don't know Suzanne, she's another one of our diamonds on our awesome team. I don't know if she's- Hey, I'm here. I just don't have my video on. Um, no, I think I'm good. That was really good, Katie. Thanks for sharing. I wish that I would have been there. I, I'm sure it was a great experience. Um, I can tell you guys this <clears throat> from even like my husband's point of view. He was like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> I mean, from sports to wearable tech, to the cars, to the motorcycles, to the, you name it. And he was extremely impressed with, I mean, just going through and what our booth looked like and how great of the job they did on that. Um, yes. Okay. How can I ask questions when I've been crying for 30 minutes? Oh, Robin. Oh, you guys. No, I'm, you guys, I'm truly, I'm honored. I, it's, it took me a long time to take that step to go because financially it wasn't right for us either. I'm going to be flat out honest, you guys. I haven't made a ton of money these last few months. We're all in the same boat. And for me to take that step, and say, you know what? Do it. Um, I'm so, so glad I did. I had so many messages coming in from my team or people even from other teams. I forgot I have to call Mary after this. Um, sorry. Um, but just people saying thank you so much for going and for being there and sharing it. Um, what I do, you guys, and I travel and it's expensive, but I do it because there's no way for all hundreds of us to be able to do it. Some half of us can't even afford our family packs to get in, let alone to be able to travel to had to take it all in. So I'm honored that you guys followed in the journey and that you got on tonight to listen and to hear um, a little bit of behind the scenes and what we, um, what we really have done. Yes. Kurt, thank you. Um, protect the house. Leah, did you see that? Yes, and that reminds me, I want to do a little income disclosure since we're recording at the end of this. So we'll just wrap, we'll close it with that once you're done. Absolutely. You guys are so welcome. Please, does anybody have any questions? Because I know if you have a question, there's probably someone else on here or someone who's going to watch this later on that's going to say, oh, I couldn't jump on. I missed it. And I wish I would have heard this. Or I wish you would have talked about this. Is there anything that I can clarify or help you with? Katie, can I talk? Go ahead, sweetheart. Mary? Yes, Mary. Um, how, do you, how do you get the device that goes onto your finger to go with the LX for the blood sugar? Okay, so it's compatible with both devices. Know that, you guys, the hardware that is in our Hilo LX has yet to be fully disclosed. Okay, all right. Okay. So what, the, what that will do, we have the clinical chips in our Hilo LX Plus. So that's right. why we're going to get nine different ranges, right? But just so you know, this is what this guy was talking to me about at the dinner. The hardware that they put in this device has yet to be unleashed. And that's what will come soon. In the, okay? oh, in the future. Well, like LA future. So, okay. <laughs> so just know that. I just, I just want to say, oh my God. <laughs> Katie. <laughs> Oh my God, I just read between the lines. I, I hear you. I can't wait for LA. I'm going to be there. We're there. I know, buddy. Yes. So yes, they are going to unleash the beast. Put it that way. And that will help dramatically in all of our iPhones, connectivity, app store, 
open API, they are going to unleash the beast and as well as also give us access to the Helo LX Plus, which has the clinical chips inside of it. So between the device, as well as the sensors, you guys, that are in the sugar trend monitor, between the two of them, that's what makes this work. And that's what allows the app to work for the Hika app. And then where do you get the monitor? Yeah, so, so that's what, yeah, her original question. So that, and we're going to hear more information this next week about when the extends will come out. And we'll actually, we won't get the date until February. So we can start ordering the LX Plus next week and the new packs. In February, we will hear the release date of the Sugar Trend software and the extend. Extend, okay. kind of a weird word. Extend, <laughs> yes. So, so we'll, we don't have that exact information yet. Okay. So that's what it'll look like, this is what they developed. This is what the extends looks like. I wonder is there a, oh yeah, well you guys saw, you guys have seen these pictures all over, right? So this is what this extends will look like. This is what it'll be and that's what will go on your finger. Right now they have the prototype and I think, is Kendall on here? Kendall, my man, are you on here, buddy? I so am, Katie. there he is. Hey buddy, do you have your monitor so you can show them what it looks like? Do you have it next to you or no? Uh, yeah. Give me a Sorry. second. <laughs> okay, so, time to get up. Yeah, for those of you that um, might not know, so a lot of you actually might not know, is that when they first started the clinical trials for this glucose monitoring, they had, um, they asked 500 people in the world, uh, they chose, excuse me, they chose 500 people that submitted applications that were already diabetics. They asked them to submit their information. So look at Kendall, if you guys can see on his screen, if you might have to scroll over to find him. It's a little white device. And this is the prototype that they have been using to gather all the information to now what has made our um, monitors work. So Kendall has been a part of this study for the last few months. So what Kendall does, and Kendall, maybe do you want to explain to them what you've been doing, buddy? So what I have to do every day is I have to do a pre-breakfast uh, after breakfast, a pre-lunch and an after lunch um, reading with the device. But I also have to take my blood sugar level with my monitor. I actually prick my finger and get the number. So this is on an app on my phone and I, it does a metering through the app. And then I punch in the information, what time I did it, how long it's been in between um, what my number was off my meter. So uh, I would imagine that's going to help them dial in um, based off of the electro pulse in your finger. So it's been really cool. It's, it's a little bit time consuming, but it's well worth it because we're making history. So, yeah. Okay. Thank okay. you. Andrew. <laughs> Yes, right. so it will come. We will find out the drop date um, in February of exactly when those will start to ship. Just know that when you purchase, it depends on what pack you purchase for the amount of extends. Most often it's going to be like one extend per pack that will come, you know. So we'll find yeah. all that on Tuesday. And this, we want to be really, really good about managing expectations because last year there was a lot of you know, a lot of hype and like a lot of people thinking things were going to happen that didn't in timelines and, and, and corporate, that's a little bit on their end too. And they're, they're going to be a lot better this year. So as you're talking, because I know we're talking, having a lot of conversations and really excited sharing this. So people fully understand. I don't, because we want to, we don't want someone to order on Tuesday thinking, oh my gosh, as soon as this device comes in in two weeks or however long it takes to ship, I will be able to start tracking my sugars. It won't, it's not going to be that fast. They'll be able to get the Hilo LX Plus in if that's the one device they want. Then in February, we will hear when that sugar trend software will be available. So they're just basically getting in. Like they can almost think of it. They're going to get on a pre-order and they'll get the first part of the device and the second, the rest of it's going to, going to be coming. We don't have exact timelines on that. But we will know very soon. Okay. Trust me, I asked Moss. I tried to get it out of him because he knows, <laughs> but he won't say. <laughs> Is it going to cost more money to, after you buy the Hilo Plus, do you, are you going to have to buy a software package too, or is it all going to be included in the price? No, it's going to be extra. The Sugar Trend software is $299. 
That will be for a one year subscription. And with that, you will get the extends free. So it's actually between the two, they cost $500, but they're shipping the extends free with $299 software package. So you'll get the heal, you'll buy it for some, because not everybody's going to want needs or wants that sugar capability. So that will be an extra, definitely an extra expense there. But um, I don't, I'm not diabetic, but the, when I've talked to people that are, when they think that's an extreme cost savings over if that, even if they have, it cuts their finger pricks in half each day because those test trips are so dang expensive. So, yeah. And from the business side to having a cost of that software, which I think diabetics in general, like when they're used to having to shell out so much money just to manage this disease, that's not going to be an issue at all. Um, but that's all going also that that's just going to be one of the first pieces of this kind of glimpse into the future with this residual income stuff. Um, that's, you know, from the business side of it, that I'm, that's, that's cool that that's part of it as well. So it'll be five ninety nine for the Hilo Plus, and then it'll be two ninety nine for the software. Five forty nine for the Hilo LX Plus bundle, and that will come with the Hilo LX Plus, the bands, the germanium stones, and then the extends through our pre ordering right now. So you'll pay two ninety nine for the. I have people that want to buy the Hilo Plus with the blood sugar, with the sugar trends. So I want to know how much it's going to cost me so I can tell these people right now that's what I'm asking. So how I would handle that is say right now, like this is so brand new. They're still at this event right now. And it, it just came out like they're not even back. It's not even on our websites. We don't even have the resources. So here's what it's looking like around because that's what kind of we're hearing. But say as soon as we get that official information and we can start ordering, I will definitely get that to you. Thank you. You're welcome. And that's one thing to you guys going into this next year, like, so year one, we had, you know, shipping and credit card merchants and all that kind of stuff that we had to navigate pioneering, being the first, bringing a, a company to a country for the first time. This next year, we've come a long way, but it's not going to be free of challenges. We are still in technology. We are, we are doing things still never been done before. So go into this year, like, like so flexible <laughs> and just like keeping a vision on the future and really like keeping the big picture. And so when some of these things come, you just kind of can roll with it. And you're like, okay, cause I know we always, we want information sometimes. Like I wish we had all the details right now. It drives me crazy that we don't know when that stuff is going <laughs> to be able to ship out. Cause people are excited now that it's announced, but we just got to roll with it and be like, I know it's going to come and just kind of, when you're talking to people, the more cool you are about it, like, oh yeah, this is amazing. We're gonna find out some more. We're doing some pioneering, some pretty cool things. The more your confident posture is, you're, you're gonna put your customers at ease. So just kind of like roll. Just I just want you to kind of have the mindset to just roll with it, especially as we just are first launching this sugar stuff. Okay, I got a question. That's all right. Yeah, go ahead. If I if I get a person that wants, I, because I was telling him about it. His wife is diabetic, and he said that would be great to have something like this. I don't have the information that you have. How, how do I, do I just get his phone number and his email, and then you take it from there? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's a very good question, Mary. Yeah. So all of you guys, like, obviously we like, we've been like obsessing over this for the last 48 hours and you guys, as we go in the next few weeks, you're going to become like more confident on how does this all work again? And what are the packages and all that will come for it's now? All the packages. Yeah. It's all the packages, things that are yeah. coming up that I have no idea. And I'm not diabetic either. And I don't know anything about the different levels. And so it just wouldn't do me any good to try to explain it to them. Yeah. No, so let, us, you just let, us, need let okay. us do that for you. And what's the cool about that? Because we'll include you. And that's how we learned in the beginning too. Like I was a master of three-waying with Tanya as my first team members came on and we just had this new wearable device and uh, it, they would ask questions. And that's how I learned myself. So let us, well, we have that information. Just say, hey, you know, it's text messages, great. A Facebook message. Hey, Katie, I'd love you to meet my friend Susan. She's really interested in this, uh, our capabilities we have for the blood glucose or blood sugar trends. Can you, can you help connect her to some information? And then Katie or myself or Suzanne or whoever your upline um, leader is will help navigate that conversation as you learn yourself. Okay. 
Sound good? All right. Yeah. So I great. see a question here from Stephanie. She said, do you think it will someday be covered by insurance companies? I asked the United Health. I said, what, what is it going to take? And they said, um, for it to be FDA approved. Right. And so if that's where our Hilo Pro is going, then yes, it will be. Right now, no, it's not. Yeah, right now, no, for sure. But that's definitely the vision of where this is going. Absolutely. Okay, I have a question. The software, the Sugar Trend software, Leah, I know we were talking the other day. For the two ninety nine, is that for one year? Yes. Okay. And then where does it go from there? Just so it's like a subscription. So they'll get the software oh, for a year and just need to redo for, it. Okay. Like I said, I don't know anything about the prices for people who have to buy the strips, but I know that they are expensive. Mm -hmm. so, I'll have right. to try and find the video I took of my dad, you guys, because he, he literally priced it out. He's like, this is so much I would save oh. here, this is so much I would save here. And I'll have to, I'll have to pull it up and maybe throw it into our um, group. Is that group. when you interviewed him, Katie? Yes. Your, your parents? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That was oh. my in-laws. So my oh, father. Okay. Oh, okay. Yep. So I asked him, he was actually pricking his finger one night and I was like, dang, dad. I'm like, what does that all entail? And so you yeah. watch him through the process and how often he does it every single day. And I was like, okay, so if you only had to do it twice a day, what would that save you? So he walked me through like this, the savings and all the pricing for his strips, his insulin, his needles, his, all his stuff. And I was like, dang, it was fantastic you so should interview him on a facebook live yeah i know I, I for sure i will he will love it my dad's already out selling helos he's like showing people i just put it on him and he's like i sold two helos today i'm like way to go pops <laughs> mary sure. there's a really good video on strong living um i'll try to tag you in it it was that diabetic uh doctor yeah well she was a nurse practitioner um what's her name you guys dark uh, hair Gullickson, Gullix. Is that? Jane, Jane Gullix. No, yes. It's not Jane Gullix. It's, uh, it's, she's oh, a professional was, diabetic was, nurse practitioner. It was on Strong Living, and I can't remember uh, who's. She's on Chris's team. Yes, but yeah. I it's did not, a video, but not diabetic. No, it wasn't. It wasn't Strong Living. I'll find it, Mary, and post you. Thank you. You're welcome. And, and I had a question up there that I asked about, you know, um, the Sugar Trend Monitor and the Extends. Do I understand it correctly that if a person purchases the family pack of the Helo LX or a family pack of the Helo LX Plus, that they get the Sugar Trend software and the Extends device for free? One version of like one. So for basically, it would cover it for one person. Okay, one. Right, but uh, but if they exactly so if they purchase, well, I'm saying if they purchase a family pack of the Helo LX, there's four in that pack. They do get one software with one extent, but I'm saying they do get at least one of those for free, whether it's the Helo LX or the Helo LX Plus. Correct. Okay, I want to make sure, not just one or the other. It's either one, and they only get one. Okay. And so that'll be another incentive to, for people to look and get the family. And sure. The, um, the LX Plus, it's, it's, um, it's not called family. It's still four. There isn't going to be a premium pack. It's just going to be four, two pa packages of four devices, whether they want the LX or LX Plus. Do you know, Leah, Katie, or Kendall, how accurate? Have they released anything for accuracy as far as the sugar levels compared to like pricking your finger and testing it? Yeah, we have so, to keep in mind it's a little different. It's you know they're, they're not getting a number. Okay, Kendall right. should know. He did the testing. <laughs> Kendall should know the accuracy. He's just sending the data that he's taking hmm. from his device to corporate, and they're okay. building algorithms off of all oh, the participants okay. that they put into our bands. I see. So, so okay. you're getting like a a low, medium, high, or that range of nine you're not going to get a specific number right yep katie so right now with the with our guardian feature you know we put in our lows we put in our highs and then if it drops too low we get a notification or if it goes too high we get a notification it's think of it like on that level it's going to tell you when you're low okay. it's going to tell you if you're in range or if it's going to tell you if you're too high or our helo lx 
for the Hilo LX Pro, it will give you nine different stages because they're clinical grade chips in our Hilo LX Plus. Okay. And I can tell you, my daughter's diabetic and we, before insurance, it's about close to 400 bucks a month for test strips. Wow. Katie, thank you. That's, yep. that's a huge deal. It is. Wow. wow. $400 a month before insurance just for your test strips? Just for the test strips. That's not including your medication, your needles, your insulin, no. your... Right. No. Katie, this um, is insulin, for us is, insulin for us is about... We just upped her insulin every month because she's growing. She's 11, so she's growing. Yeah. And before insurance, it's 1200 bucks a month for the insulin. You guys, so even if they don't have to do the test strip, how many times a day, Katie, does she have to do her test strips? Eight to 10 times she does. Oh, my goodness. Like your dad. It's about as many as your dad. So, yeah. So would this product completely eliminate the need for test strips, or you would just no. need less of them? No. Nope. It's only will, it's just going to give you a trend. So you're going to be able to see your sugar trend levels as you're wearing the, or using the device. And then while it's just to learn you and understand you, just like our helos do now, it's then going to give you an indication. So if you go to do it, you know, and it says that it's low, you're going to want to test and actually use and prick your finger and do the test strips. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you'll start to learn as you go, but that's, I mean, with anything, it's, you're going to have to, you'll start to understand and understand your body. And Kendall can attest to this. Like when you start to understand how you're feeling and then you just use this as a tool to validate something. Katie. Go ahead. This is Robin. Hey, I wanted to jump on here real quick. My husband is, I'm, I'm not on the camera. Sorry. Okay. My husband is a diabetic and he spends we spend about fifty dollars per week on the test strips and we do not run that through insurance it is not something that is covered on the, the test strips are not covered okay for him and he is supposed to text it just like the other ones have said six to eight times a day i talked to a guy in florida today that's on medicaid and he's retired on the medicaid has diabetes and medicaid will only pay for one test strip a day. That's it. Jeez. One test strip, one time. They'll pay for him to bring it. And he's on the fixed income. So if there's anything additional that he needs during, I mean, he's all over this. We talked for a long time and he is very excited about this and sharing this. And um, I'm telling you guys, this is huge. It's huge. Oh, thank you, Robin. I that agree. That figures it out to like twenty six hundred dollars a year just on the test strips. If you're on, if you're doing it the minimum amount of times. Wow. And what's so cool, also, like that, it just like it makes me just want to cry. Is there's so many people because of the cost and because of the quality of life of constantly pricking your finger that don't manage this well. They just don't do it. And now if they have the ability to kind of just see what's going on and they can know, okay, well, I'm, because it's, I'm low or I'm high, like I'm going to make different food choices or, okay, I better check it now. Like people are just going to manage their health so much better now. And I just love that. Hey guys, this is Grant here. I, I just want to jump in and say um, over the weekend, uh, I had uh, some abnormal readings uh, for my, for my heart check. And I had chest discomfort and an elevated pulse rate. And I went down and, and talked to the paramedics and ended up going in, spending the night in the hospital for the very first time and had some tests run. Um, through those tests and the CT scan, I guess I've got gallstones that I never knew I had. Uh, but they were looking for a pulmonary embolism just in case I had blood clots in my lungs due to the shortness of breath. But I tell you, this device, you know, whether it's checking blood sugar, whether it's checking um, your everyday readings, um, I had a text message from my guardian saying, are you okay? We got a, an abnormal reading on your blood pressure. Are you doing fine? So I, I, I speak from experience with this device and it's, 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 it's amazing. So I, I, Thank you, I, I can't, I, you know, you're welcome, Katie. Thank you. I'm glad you're okay, buddy, in your home. Thumbs up. I'm going for a stress test on Tuesday. Good luck, baby. <laughs>
and then and then I'm gonna uh, another goal of mine is lose a hundred pounds by uh, December thirty first. Awesome! You got it. Let's do it. You got a cheering <laughs> squad. Yeah. All right. Awesome. And a device to uh, monitor my my rate and my health plan and everything like that. All right. I'm muting. <laughs> All right, guys, any other questions before we play our disclosure? I don't know if Leah, if you have that. Yes. Sadie, I Here have one so question bad. that's not related to blood sugar. Um, Ramasio's um, 10 packs, do the BioZen packs that are available this week count towards that 10, or is that just the helos? No, family packs of BioZen count too. Yes. Right. 100%. Yes. And who asked that? that Susan asked. In New York. Oh, okay. Thank you, Susan. Yes, they count. Okay. So that the cat, so based on what Susan is asking, that means then you need to sell 10 of what, 1400 or higher? Yep. The family okay. packs. So the four packs of helos or the Right. So 1400 counts as one and you need to sell 10 of them. Okay. 10 of those by the 22nd. Right. To get mosses. Yes. And our run week is the 14th through the 22nd. Yes. Thank you for reminding us on that. Um, so you guys, again, for those of you that don't exactly quite grasp what a run week is, what you're going to want to do, I've already done this um, with my team and we are meeting again on this, but you're going to want to figure out where do you want to be at the end of run week? Where do you ultimately, you can put in the chat box right now if you want, you can, where do you want to be at the end of run week? We will begin, um, we are starting to build now because most of the people that are coming in with family packs can't purchase the bands until Tuesday, right? So you can start to take applications now, start to recruit now. And if you have someone that wants to get in what we will do is we will take their application, we can launch them and we can get them started and already have them possibly the team builder before they even run week even begins on Tuesday. So they already have that huge advantage come Tuesday to then launch their two new people and get their, them their two people. And then you hit TD in the, your one week and get, go for that TD bonus. So um, it's, it's a, it's a good way of looking at it. I, I think that right now is if I'm starting run week right now, it gives me what, 11 days, right? Because normally we don't get a heads up that a run week is coming. Normally it'll be the Sunday night before and they'll say, oh, Tuesday morning when the cycle starts, it's run week and the whole organization's running. And we're like frantic on who's in, who wants to run, who wants to get promoted because we want to work with the people that want to that want to run and want to promote. So make sure you go to your upline diamond or your upline team developer or someone and let them know what is your goal so that we can help you get there. I've heard, I've seen people posting on pages saying I'm taking a week off of work and I'm like, Oh, I want to take a week off of work, <laughs> you know, but there's people out there that have very high goals and they are determined that this Hilo LX plus presale with the sugar monitor, is their gateway to getting to the next level. And I have no doubt that they're right. So if you have a goal and you want to get to something bigger than where you are now, or whatever it may be, please let your diamond know, and then we will work with you on your plan on how to get you there, okay? All right, can we do the disclosure? Do I should I just read yes. it? I'll play it. Thank you so much. All right, guys, the reason why we do this, we need to stay compliant. For those of you that are brand new, um, this is very, very important. We have a lot of people making a lot of money very quickly in this company, and we need to protect ourselves and protect what we call our home and our house and everyone around the organization. Kate, that everyone's results will vary as we are all unique and different. Basically, it takes hard work to make a substantial income in this business. Some people will make no money at all. The earnings of a world global network partner will be 100% dependent upon their skills, work effort, commitment, leadership capabilities, and also market conditions. Common sense would suggest that in most opportunities, one would find exceptional individuals performing well above average, while others perform under the average. 
World Global Network does not guarantee any level of income or your success. The average participant in World Global Network earns less than $500 per year. This does not account for any business expenses that one might incur while building the business. To see our full income disclosure, please visit our website at www.worldgm.com. Practicality, Dick. Thank you, Leah. Okay, everyone, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. I am going to stop recording. Thank you, thank you, thank you.